Welcome back to another episode of Mid Mo Bassin. Today we're going to be talking about jigs and what we kind of like to do with jigs, how we have success, um, the different styles of jigs, presentations, um, trailers, um, what we kind of do, water temperatures, and you know the setups that we throw them on. Okay, so um, with jigs, um, I usually throw it on 15 pound fluorocarbon, which is you know, always Seaguar. Um, if I'm you know flipping a jig or you know in a really heavier cover, I will you know step it up to 17 or 20. Um, but yeah, it's, it's always you can I mean I don't throw a jig on anything other than fluorocarbon. Um, even the sensitivity is just you know it's much better than anything you can throw it on. You can't see it. Um, but yeah, it's definitely what I recommend here. Um, to, uh, here we have a football uh, some football jigs. We have a three quarter ounce and a half ounce jig. All right. Okay. So. We throw these uh, football head jigs just to get down to the bottom a lot quicker. We throw it with fluoro because it helps it just sink a little bit faster. But once you kind of get that towards the bottom, you kind of want to give it a little pop or a little drag kind of action. Um, but yeah, just definitely um, giving it that more finesse presentation. Um, you can either throw it with, you know, something like with like an Okeechobee Craw or Black and Blue or something with just big pinchers or uh, that just create a little bit more uh, action for the fish. So yeah, uh, football head jigs. I mean, it kind of depends on the temperature, a lot of temperature of the water. A lot of the times, you know, we will, you know, like what's on that one, throw you know the rage tails that have the big, um, you know, the big flappers do a lot of put off a lot of action, or we will throw um, the rage menace here if there's you know the water's a little colder, fish are a little finickier. Um, if you know fish are really finicky or the water's you know much colder, um, or you know we're just fishing a little bit shallower, I will drop down to a finesse jig, which is basically the same thing. Um, but you know, it's, it's a, a round ball, it's not, you know, shaped as a football. The skirt does come over, um, over it, it's a little bit lighter. Um, and I almost always throw it with, um, like the zoom chunks there, much smaller, um, you know, a little bit smaller, not as much presentation. Um, definitely doesn't put off as much water there as the, um, the other ones do there. Right, and these are good for bed fishing too. Because, I mean, there takes a lot of patience for some bed fishing. But, yeah, this just gives it a little smaller presentation for them to just kind of get used to or if they want it or not. So. Yeah, if, if, you're, if you're having trouble, you know, with a bigger bait, um, you know, a lot of times, you know, after, you know, just really, you know, doing a fish with one bait, uh, dropping, you know, dropping down to something smaller or switching up, you know, I definitely do get a lot of bites there. Um, and then, or, you know, around that same time of year where the fish are, you um, they are doing their bedding. They're already, you know, doing their doing the fish duty. Uh, I will throw a a, um, a swim jig. Um, I almost always use, you know, like a uh, like a lighter brown one. With I put a, a kai tuck on the back. I like to put a real small one, or I can use a, bit, a little bit bigger one and just cut it. Um, but I'll also be, you know, because around that same time, you know, late May is the uh, the shad spawn. Um, so then I'll, I'll throw those in around docks or around any kind of cover. Pull those through there. And um, you really just kind of like shake your rod, you know, lift it up sometimes, you know, just give it, give it a little bit of something, and then you kind of rely on the trailer to do a lot of the, um, a lot of the action there. Uh, but yeah, anywhere you can bring that past, bring that through, um, it, it's got to have like the, the pointed head doesn't really help it bring through um, any any cover. Right, and just something to remember when you're throwing a jig, when you're getting that hook set into that fish, make sure you set the hook pretty hard because you got to get past this brush guard and all this extra stuff. Um, yeah, you, 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 have, yeah. The, you have the skirt, the trailer, and the brush guard all in the way of the hook. Um, you just make sure you are definitely setting that hard there. Right. Yeah. Uh, you want to talk about flipping? Uh, yeah. Flipping, um, make sure that when you're in that area, it's just like good coverage, like brush, rocks or so. But or any, any kind of trees or lay downs that are over the water. Right. That you can kind of you know, get your bait up as far as it can. I right. Know. I mean, we were doing really good with uh, some logs, wood, um, just kind of like that pea pebble and mm -hmm. all that but I mean when you throw this you make sure you want to have a lot of action to it just keep popping that jig until you know they want to they want this but um, yeah. yeah especially if you're flipping in shallow water um, I, I don't I don't drag it at all if I'm if I'm flipping you know, I'll get it in there I'll shake it kind of drag it not not drag it but I'll shake it and you know make sure it's you know working around the bottom um, you know mm -hmm. whether I'm flipping something like that uh, you know, way you know, or a flipping jig way down, way back into the brush, right? Or you know, if I'm flipping, you know, just you know, a Texas rigged, um, you know, rage crawl like some some sort of a crawl, or I, I'm flipping a finesse jig just around the bushes, around the general area, mm -hmm. uh, whether that be you know pea gravel or chunk rock, just around those bushes. Um, 
and you're trying to get those fish that are you sit in your know, ankle deep water to come out strong. Right, and I mean you don't want to give up on that spot just right there and there. Maybe take a couple flips in there, or so because like sometimes they, it can make them mad when you uh, just keep flipping it back in there, bringing it back to the boat as fast as you can, but just kind of keep flipping it in there and then let it sit at least one time. Just keep shaking that head because I mean that back and forth action kind of gets them riled up or. I mean, that, that's when they kind of want it, too. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, 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 jig fishing is a lot of the fish telling you what the, what's, what they want. Mm -hmm. Jig is such a, fer, like, a versatile bait, uh, whether you're, you know, throwing a really big jig, you know, really deep and just dragging that real slow, give it a pop every once in a while, you know, looking for some schools of fish, or you're, you know, throwing a finesse jig and a swim jig, or a swim jig, you know, shallower, um, you know, maybe looking for some spotted bass a little shallower, or some large mouth that may be bedding. Right. Alrighty, yeah, hopefully you learned something there. Um, you know, set the hook hard, you know, focus on the water temperature, focus on what the fish are telling you, and um, go catch your fish from some jigs. Right. Get out there. Thanks for uh, joining in on this episode of Mid Mill Bassin. Yeah.